Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was surprisingly fun, albeit a bit stressful. I already knew that I wouldn't be able to write to the quality of the girls, but I tried my best. Everyone here is incredibly talented. Well, all the girls at least. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting again. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As I watch, Natsuki breezes through Yuri's poem, her eyes skipping over the words. Meanwhile, Yuri stares at the paper in her hands, smiling sadly. Natsuki quickly hands Yuri her poem back. Here, I'm done. Uh, already? Yeah, it's not like it was super hard to read. I'm not illiterate, you know. Huh. It was hard for me to understand, at least. I just want to make sure that you caught all the figurative language that I employed. Yeah, I did. It was fancy. Uh, thanks. However, I believe that you'd enjoy it more if you looked deeper into it. I enjoyed it plenty already. Anyways, are you finished with my poem then? Yes. Yours is... cute. Cute? Didn't you learn anything from our conversation yesterday? How can it be cute? You're standing there thinking that I haven't read your poem, when it's really you who hasn't read my poem! It's clearly about the push and pull between giving up and trying hard! Uh, I know that. I, I just meant... the language, I guess. Well, maybe you should look deeper into my poem, because I use that type of language on purpose. I see. But if I may give a suggestion, these are more involved subject matters that may be better suited for more... complex direction. The art of poetry is deeply intertwined with... Look, I know what you're trying to do, but it won't work on me. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't quite understand. Writing in this way doesn't make you look cool or smart, okay? It just makes you look super pretentious. If you write with a thesaurus open next to you, you're just going to alienate everyone. Using all these big words to make up for your lack of depth. Poetry isn't about impressing people, so you can just stop. Holy crap. I stared wide eyes at Monica and Sayori, who have now also fallen silent. They stare back at me, looking unsure of what to do. I'm guessing that they don't usually have many arguments in the club, although tensions between Natsuki and Yuri already seemed kind of high. Lack of depth. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So if I can give some suggestions now... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I really must ask. What makes you believe that I'll accept your advice after you've been so rude to me? Huh? Rude? That was just blunt honesty! You... Do you ever consider that other people don't hold the same opinions as you? What are you trying to say? Do I really need to spell it out for you? Yeah, you do! I want to see if you're really going there! The irony... I dare you to say it! I... <laughs> I must thank you, Natsuki! I've never been this angry in my life! It's actually giving me the courage to speak up! Is this why you're angry all the time? Uh, um... Guys, we shouldn't... This, this doesn't, doesn't involve, involve you! Sayori, please don't rob me of my moment. So this is your moment to shine or something? Strange thing to take pride in, don't you think? No. It's my moment to finally speak my mind, while I still have the strength to. Natsuki, have you ever realized how selfish you are? What? Everything always needs to go your way. You always jump to conclusions and make rash decisions without regards for the consequences. And it's never your fault, is it? Y you don't know me! No, you don't know me either. And yet you spoke as if you knew everything about me. Quite simply, you don't. The very fact that you don't think your blunt honesty was incredibly rude just goes to show how narrow-minded you truly are. <sighs> I know it must be a difficult concept for you to understand, but the whole world doesn't revolve around you and your manga! So tell me why I should take advice from someone who can only see their own perspective. Mm. 
Everyone knows it! Monica, Sayori, even him! Don't you remember how hostile you were to him when he first joined? I wasn't being hostile! We haven't had a new member in a long time! Sorry, not sorry for keeping on my toes! And that's how I talk to everyone! Not just him! Am I supposed to change my whole personality to kid order how you think I should be? If he has a problem with my jokes, he can tell me. You don't get to speak for him! Do you really expect a new member to be able to speak up so easily? Not everyone is as unafraid of being a brutish cretin as you! Wh the rest of us were so excited to have a new member! But did that thought ever cross your mind? No! You just let your own selfish thoughts dictate your behavior! Selfish? They weren't self- You could have scared him off. That might have been what you wanted, but what about the rest of us? I just explain myself for God's sake! But as per usual, you aren't listening! You know, for someone who's been ranting on about how narrow-minded I am, you're pretty intolerant yourself! There! I used a big word. Do I sound like Shakespeare yet? Am I worthy of your attention now? Ouch. Both girls really have their claws out. Also, Monica and Sayori didn't have any issues with me yesterday. It's just you. Of course they did, Natsuki. They just didn't say anything. Monica is too responsible and Sayori's too kind. So why don't we ask him then? As the more unbiased spectator. Fine. Who's right? Me or Yuri? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? I don't even know what they want me to decide on at this point. Should I just ignore all the personal stuff and just talk about their poetry? That's what started the argument after all. But it's not like I'm a good judge of writing quality, given that I'm just a beginner. I don't think it would be fair for me to take either side either, especially since I'm new here. Maybe I should defer to one of the club leaders? So of course that's going to be 